All right, welcome to the broadcast. This is Division Four action with the local team actually playing on their home court, Ray County Academy, with Coach Tim Hostetler. So this is their home court, huh? This is their home court. Huh. And they are the, yeah, the one seed here in Division Four. Actually, we just saw uh, Christian Academy of Madison just about an hour ago as they won their first match of the day. And a one nothing lead for Ray County. And that will fall in and now a 2 nothing lead. Well, this is the um, 11 a.m. game here in Division 4. The winner of this still has to win two more matches today in order to win the Division 4 championship. And uh, the final for that will be back here at 3.30. So the Lady Warriors will get another point here off a nice hit in that back line by the libero Rachel Hostetler. That's Ashton Dodd. Serving for the Lady Warriors. Good block good. at the net by Caitlin Brown. And the Warriors on a good roll here to start the first set of this match. Well, you're not kidding. They are fired up. 4 nothing lead. That serve goes into the net for Ashton Dodd. And it'll go back across to the defenders here as Totman, Keisha Totman, 5'7 sophomore to serve it up for Christian Academy. Sent across here by Brown. Good set to the outside. Nice dig along that back line by Marion Corvin. And we have two hits on the defenders. So Annie Benoit to serve for Ray County. Again, they're the number one seed in 4A, or Division 4, if you will, here at the NACA tournament. Nice hit there on the near side by Juliana Dill. Good set as well. See there, kind of picked a good spot in between players in that back row, and it's a 5-2 lead. So here by Dill, played up front, and a good return by Ashton Haggard. We'll make it 5 3. And that's going to be the, the team captain serving now, Juliana Dilk. She is, she is the standout player of, of the team. I talked to Coach Summer Rogers before tip, and uh, she said, you know, Juliana earned that position, earned that, that captain. But just by her, you know, pure determination and never giving up, you know, she's she's kind of the the nucleus of the of the team as as far as uh, the will to win, and she's she encourages, continues to encourage her team. Well, we're at a six-four game off the serve from Hostetler, and Warriors to play it again. Um, the defenders will try to rotate back to that back row to Dilk. That was deflected up front and now put across. See what the Warriors do here. Set to the middle. That tipped over. Try it again in the middle of that floor. And a kill for Caitlin Brown. Make it a 7-4 wow. lead for Ray County. Wow, that was a lively exchange from these Lively exchange. Back to the action. Hostetler serves that at ricochet off the ceiling. It comes back to Dilk, who hits it into the net. And I'll make it 8 4, the lead for the Warriors. Serve here is shot straight back over the net. And back to Hostetler again, who would just put it across. And a good tip at the net by Ashton Haggard. And the defenders draw a little bit closer. 8-5, the lead for the Warriors. Let's 
So Megan Gossman with the serve, and that returned up near the net and hit out of bounds on the far side by... So if you're tuning in and you haven't already, be sure to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any national tournament action here at NACA Sports. This bump back across. Now Ray County with it. That hit out of bounds by Ashton Dodd. Make it 9-6. Surf here from Ashton Haggard is returned into the net, so an ace will make it 9-7. Defenders have played pretty consistent volleyball through the first match and into the beginning of uh, this second match. There's another ace. They'll make it 9-8 and a timeout to Ray County. 9-8, the lead for Ray County. We'll take a break, come back with more of this Division Four matchup in a moment. You're watching the NACA. Timeout. Christian Academy serves. Now the Warriors play at near side and sent over there by Corvin. This is Tottman. Now Ray County to the near side. That's partially blocked up front. Sent to that back row for Hostetler. goes into the net. So 9-9 nine, nine, now the tie. And Ashton Haggard with the serve. Turn back up front. Sets the near side and put down there by Marion Corvin. Nice job on the set here. Yeah, that was a well-placed set and good placed shot. Also managed to stay out of the net, which was Half the battle there. That is out of bounds. And the serve on the far side for Bell Sneed. Back tied at 10. And uh, Hannah Gamble will get set to serve here. Set back to the middle, put across by Hostetler. Pump back over. We'll see what the Warriors can do with this. Good set in the middle, tipped across, returned on one hit, tipped across again and down by Corbin. And it's 11 10, Ray County. As soon as the lineup comes, Clara Sneed. And also in for the defenders is Katie Daly. And that's going to be Clara with the coming in for the serve. Underhand serve returned on one hit. Put back across and the defenders try to play it to the far side. And good placement there by Juliana Dilk. Back tied at 11. Back in for the Warriors. Marion Corbin. And then she'll check out immediately as... Rachel Hostetler back in. <clears throat> Tipped across, that will fall down. That's kind of an unorthodox play there. You'll see it here, just kind of throwing the fists out there as Ashton Dodd, but it happened to work out. So 12-11 is the lead for Ray County. 
You know, yeah, it's probably the. What's another one? Yeah. It's not. It is plugged in. Fourteen twelve as the lead now for Ray County is back in for the defenders is Morgan Miller. She'll get set to serve here. Is that sent back into that back line, put across by Hostetler, and now the defenders play it up front. It's tipped over there by Haggard, and then put across in town for the Warriors. They'll lead at fifteen twelve. Starting to separate just a little bit here as Addie uh, Benoit will get set to serve. One thing Coach Hostetler said about these lady, about his lady warriors is he said they, they work. One thing that he um, is very proud of is they never give up. They, they do have talent and they, they have a really high work ethic. And, and they're always exciting to watch because they never give up. So he is really happy with his ladies thus far in the tournament and throughout the season. Well, that hit into the net. That'll make it. We'll get another look 17, at that. 17-12. Look like. Yeah, it kind of got a little bit off balance on the hit. And we have a timeout to the defenders. 17-12, the lead for Ray County. Back with more of set one in a moment. You're watching the NACA. So Ray County to serve up 17-12 here in the first set. Now make it 18-12. Addie Benwell in the serve. Good dig, but they just couldn't couldn't put it together. So Addie to serve again here. Put across. Now the Warriors trying to tip it over. Opportunity in the middle that now set across. That's a nice play up front by Dilk. Make it 18 13. You notice this just this little tip over trying to find that open spot. Yeah, Dilk just has that competitive, competitive edge that she's a baller. That's basically what it what it boils down to. Good serve there. Ticking in the back row and that hit under the net by. Ashton Dodd, that'll make it 18-14. And from talking to these two, two coaches, you know, I really get the feeling that they have a, a, a lot in common. They're, they're a small school, which you can relate to. Yep, Sometimes they even, uh, you know, could potentially have trouble fielding a team, just depending on what, what year it is. They're, they're, they're used to being the, the little guys that were playing bigger schools. And... Uh, 
Yeah, as I've been right there. I know how that works. As a result of that, they, you know, they've got a lot of fight in them. Toke trying to run that down, then put back across on the far side by Daly. Opportunity here for the Warriors. To the cross there by Hostetler, and now that put out of bounds. It'll make it 19-15. Yeah, it's difficult. I, I know for us this year, at the beginning of the volleyball season, we had six girls. That's what we had. We added one or two, but... I That's fully, all we need, though, right? I fully get the small school mindset, trust me, more than most. Here with the voice of the NACA, John Chapel, who is an ath athletic director mm -hmm. himself yeah. in s southern suburbs of Chicago for a great school. Yeah, we're... We're competitive with our athletics, but we are not a large school, that's for sure. 1916, the lead for Ray County. I don't know where that ball went. Oh, one in the, tra <laughs> the training room. <laughs> Coach Hostetler came back out with the ball. Wonder where that thing disappeared to. And that returned on one hit for the Warriors. Back out front, now we'll see how the defenders play it here. Back on the near side, that's blocked up front. But it'll end up falling on Ray County's side. Well, this thing's starting to get yeah. a little bit closer here. 1917. Let's return back up near the net. Now tipped over. Again, with teams all across the country. Um, It's uh, it's you know it's got to be nice for for the for the Warriors to to essentially have home truly home court advantage at a at a national tournament. Yeah. So they this is their home court that they play in when of course when there's not a national tournament going on. That and that one just just grazed the line. You can take a look at that, John. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll run that one back it's, real uh, quick one more time. Yep. Boy, that didn't, just didn't take on much. The, all it's got to do, you know, we've talked about this before, it has to just make contact with that line. That's the only requirement. It's kind of like tennis. As long as it touches that line at some point, it's in. Well, 2019 now the lead. That hits into the net. 21-19. And back to serve for Ray County is Bell Sneed. That hit... Out of bounds. Bell, we're going to take. 20. We're going to sneak in a quick, quick look up here. There, there's Bell's mother and father, Chris Sneed, in the white shirt, and and Heather Sneed. I take just it to you the know right these the individuals. Pole. Yeah, graduated with Heather. <laughs> I was say, wow. Graduated with Heather. <laughs> if um, not, you've really done your research. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are a wonderful family. Chris is actually the chief of police here in Dayton. Serve plate now up front. Tipped over, now Ray County to play it. Up front, that tipped across and down. That will make it 21-21. And a timeout to Ray County. Well, this has gotten a lot closer. Matter of fact, tied up. Take a break, come back with more from the NACA here in just a moment. Out of the timeout. Surf here played by the Warriors. Hostetler will put it across. 
Sent back to the middle, tipped across and down. A 22 21. The defenders with the lead off the tip by Dilk. And back to serve again for the defenders is Hannah Gamble. Shorter serve that time. Play to the back row. And up front, little battle at the net. The defenders end up putting it back over. Set out to Dilk again. That's blocked up front. And we're back to a tie game at 22 all. So back in for Ray County comes Clara Seed. And she will get set Big to time block for Dodd and Corvin. Not sure who got, got the biggest piece of that ball, but definitely denied. And another block at yeah. the net. Boy, a nice job up front. Ashton Dodd, I believe, got, well, it could have been the outside. Ashton Dodd and Sarah Hall that time. Back tied at 22. Another serve here from Clara Sneed. Stumped across. Now Ray County to play it. And a nice hit from that back row. And that is Caitlin Brown with a back line hit. And now set point at 24-22. Here played up front. Now tipped across. See if the defenders can get back in it here. Dilk has that blocked. Go back to Dilk again. She tips it over the top of that wall. Boy, Dodd is a beast on the net. This is some point here. Taken back up front. Pumped over by Dodd. And that will fall in off the set across the top of the net, 24-23. Marion Corvin back in. She will head straight out as Hostetler will come in a lot. Serve here from Brooke Porter back across. Now an opportunity for Christian Academy. Dilk. Well, bump it over uh -oh. and into the net is Ray uh. County. Hmm. Boy, that's a. That was. I didn't see that. I didn't either. And now we're tied at 24. That's a tough call on, on a set point. We have a good uh, officiating period. It's out of bounds. Now 25 24. And back to set point. Yep. That's set point once again. Again, everybody's kind of got to get used to after the first two days. It was no, it was capped at 25. That is not the case once we get to bracket play. So you have to win by two. 25-24. Sent across. And that will fall in. And we're tied at 25. I'll tell you what, this has been a decent match. It's been a great match. Serve here by Topman is in in the net. Now 26-25, the lead for Ray County. Addie Benoit getting set to serve here. Something in the middle, tipped across, and that will fall in. Off the hit by Ashton Haggard, it's 26-26. This way we might not be done for a while. No, you're really getting, kind of getting that Don't feel of everything being on the line here. And a kill up front by Caitlin Brown. That's well, a good hit, goes right off the block of the defenders. And back to set point again at 27-26. Hostetler with the serve. That is going to be, nope, it's saved on the far side. What a play. Hustle on the, by Katie Daly. Had to go all the way past the net on the far side. And we're still going. 
I thought for sure that point was over. Back to the middle, and that hit dog out again. Put across as the Warriors to play it near side. A tip deep. And set up front, battle at the net, pushed back across. That's partially blocked and set into the net. Oh, That'll wow. do it. What a, wow. what, what a mean, net play by Caitlin Brown. What a that, dominance on the net, too. That last Once point. And, uh, on, and jumped right back and, and uh, returned it, denied it once again. That's a big-time play by both teams. Certainly get that tournament excitement. Mm -hmm. That was a really nice last point of the set. 28-26, Ray County takes set one. We'll be back with set two in just a moment. You're watching the NACA. Can one choice change a life? When it's a big choice like choosing a college, it's safe to say yes. Put yourself in the shoes of a new student. You want teachers you can really learn from. Classes you look forward to. Friends who share your faith. And times you won't forget. But more than that, you want a college that prepares you to serve God with your life. Pensacola Christian College offers all this and more. Come see what a Christ-centered campus is like during college days at Pensacola Christian College. Visit pcci.edu for more info. Educating students. Educating students. To become servants of Christ. Servants of Christ. Para llegar a ser servidores de Cristo. To make a difference in today's world. A very different to the man of the week. Um a unterschied in the heutigen Welt to make. To make a difference in the world of today. To arrive to the world of today. We can change today's world. Start of set number two, and an ace will make it one nothing. The lead for Christian Academy. Uh, Caitlin's a little slow. She's a little slow getting up on that. It seems to be okay. Caitlin Brown. Tottman with another serve. Now sent back over. Defenders to play it here on the near side. That's Haggard putting it across. Now in the middle, tipped over, and defenders will play it back on the near side, set over there.
that to the far side and just put over. Good hustle play as the Warriors will just put it across. And a good tip over for Ashton Dodd. You'll see it right here. Just kind of throws out that right hand to try to find an open spot. Coach Rogers, Coach Summer Rogers of, of the Lady Defenders say these girls have, have uh, had four coaches in in four years. The seniors have, uh, but she is she is very proud of what she has had on, and gives a sends her best to all the fans. As, as Juliana Dilk, the team captain, takes the serve. So she's, they've had four coaches in four years. Four coaches in four years. Wow. And she said there's they they are a small school. Um, this is their first year. Uh, in, in this tournament, they, she's loving the experience. She's loving the atmosphere. Hopes to be able to bring her girls back next year. Their, their boys' basketball team came last year. It was their first year. So we hope they will make this part of their season every year, Christian Academy of, of Madison. Again, so proud to have those ladies here with us. It's a very interesting, you know, when you talk about this tournament, there's other, there are other tournaments around the country all over the place, national tournaments, invitationals, um, all kinds of things, um, and there are many, many, but this one is kind of unique, actually, it's very unique. Uh, first and foremost, it's at a camp, <laughs> which <laughs> not yeah, very they, many of her. And are, they play, you know, throughout, this is certainly not the only court that this tournament sure, is played right. on, it's played throughout the throughout Ray County and, and all even, kinds of even schools and schools. All churches all over the place. So again, there's 48 teams uh, total. It's just kind of a unique experience. You know, you have the, the services the first two nights where everybody kind of crams in this one gymnasium. You get some good competition at so all levels. It's, it's a unique experience. There's no doubt about that. And as, and as always at, at, you know, NACA Sports, you know, the, the goal is, is, is pursuing the ultimate prize, and that's, that's getting a closer, closer walk with Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Sent here in the outside, and that is two hits. And it's just a great message uh, from from Executive Director Dave Secura. In the program that he really words it a lot better than me. The, you know, the mission back in 1980, what, what began as a small basketball tournament for a handful of Private Christian schools, NACA has grown to host over 3,800 athletes in nine different tournaments. That's nine different sports that they compete in every year. And their NACA sports vision, our vision is transforming youth through the Word of God so they will impact communities for Christ. So that is. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's been around since 1980. Is that what since 1980, yes, sir. Well, I know uh, mid 90s. Well, early 90s, 90, ooh, I don't really know. Early early to middle 90s, I, I played here, so the mid, it's been yeah, around the, a while. Yeah, course, the, the, the court statement. was not this, by the way. <laughs> and their, their mission and goal here, our mission and goal is using camping and tournaments as our platform. We are evangelizing the lost and encouraging the body of Christ. And this is a special place up here on the mountain. It really has a special meaning and always has, has a rich history um, up here. Even before uh, Fort Bluff Camp was established, this was a really a special. I'm learning some history of the, mm -hmm. this uh, area on the mountain. Really rich. Uh, has a really rich history and strong um, 
Christian roots. It's been it's always been an interesting tournament. You know the the things that I remember being different about when I played here as opposed to being here now. This gym is exactly the same as it was, other than the floor. We've talked about this in the past. It wasn't a wood floor. It was a rubber floor that was Carolina blue, which I loved. That, that looked awesome. Um, not that this isn't. This is obviously a, a beautiful floor. But it was a Carolina blue rubber floor, and they used to have a general store in this room right up here by us, right down here at the So now if you haven't visited, they, this year they actually have a new Hawks Landing um, building that, that's okay. basically a social center. There's like a foosball table. Uh, I didn't even know that uh, existed. Oh, you, man, you got to check <laughs> it out. They just built it. It's a... I think they're doing a lot of the store, and it's a you know they have a snack center there, and it's really a cool place for uh, campers throughout the summer. If, if you're tuning in, you know really encourage you to visit FortBluffCamp.com. But actually, part of me, it's just FortBluff.com. Um, I do know there's a there's a miniature golf course out there, right? There's a miniature golf course, a water slide. They have a, a beautiful swimming pool, and, and also they have a great pond that also has a, a high dive with uh, what you call, what they call the blob, where it, it launches. <laughs> where you throw uh, somebody's on one side and somebody lands on the other, other yeah. and, and it really launches them out. So it's a lot of fun here at the camp. A great place to bring your, your youth group, uh, maybe a women's group. They have uh, some signature events throughout the season, so visit fortbluff.com to host your next church event. So the Fender's trying to play it here as we continue in set two of this best of three match here in division four. And Wood set across by Corbin. Make it a 9-8 defender's lead. Katie Daly checks back in. I will say uh, Dayton has grown quite a bit in terms of businesses and other things in town. Um, even in the last four or five years, it seems like there has been uh, a little bit of a boom, at least from an outsider's perspective, as far as the businesses that are coming on that main strip down there. Every time I come here, it seems like there's more stuff. Well, thank you for for saying that. It's good to, that you notice that. There is a lot of momentum going on here in town, and we just landed a, uh, got the largest direct, direct foreign investment in a, a new company. Uh, we uh, here in Ray County in Dayton. I was also home to Lazy Boy. Makes Lazy Boy recliners, the largest over 60% of all Lazy Boy uh, furniture is produced here in Dayton. Really? Yes, I sir. I did not know that. Guess I learn something every time I come here. And new new industry coming is Nokian tires. They are a Really just a tremendous people. They'll begin hiring in early 2019. Uh, they're well known for their winter tires, but they, they have a lot of other tires coming out on the market, all purpose and all season. Hmm. They're, they're a, a company from Finland. We're very proud to have them coming to town. But you know, yes, speaking indeed. of that part of the world, I was in Sweden this summer. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Sweden and Iceland both. Scandinavian. Yeah. 12 10 is the lead here for Ray County, by the way. I know we're, we're waxing eloquent, but uh, there is a volleyball match going on yeah. in the middle of all this. <laughs> As, uh, again, Ray County leads 12 10. Yeah, made a made a trip to Gothenburg, Sweden. Actually went to Reykjavik too in Iceland. That's a beautiful country. I'm jealous. That was a lot of fun. We had a good time. 
That's uh, into the net. So 12-11 the lead for Ray County. It was my first experience, you know, that far outside of the country. I mean, I've been to, to Mexico and Canada, and, you know, we've been to Hawaii, which is essentially going out of the country, even though you're still in the U.S. Um, but my wife has been to Africa and South America and Europe and all this. That was my first real experience with it. It was awesome. We, we had a really good time. People were great. So we'll see what Ray County can do here. A front tipped across. That's a really nice save off that back line by Morgan Miller. And this put out of bounds. So we're back tied at 12. This, want to talk about an even matchup today? This, this is an this even is matchup. This is the 1-8 matchup here in Division 4. Back to the far side. Both teams showing good fundamentals. And that's a nice hit along that back line by Haggard. Make it 13-12 defenders. Not a lot of big kind of like power hitting kind of stuff going on. But, yeah, pretty good fundamental volleyball. Really solid, good chemistry. These teams have good chemistry. Here, play back to the outside. <coughs> Hit in by Caitlin Brown. Uh, tied at 13. I will say this. The, the nicest airport seat that I ever sat in was in Iceland. I'd never seen anything like that at an airport in all my life. At first, like regular seats. It's basically like sitting in a recliner almost. Of course, most people are probably sitting there for hours. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you had to find them. They weren't all over the place. They were kind of hidden a little bit, but they were nice. Oh, front good little battle at the net, and it will be won by the defenders. Actually, nope, they might have been in the net. They were. Mm, we're going to take another look at that. Yep, there you go, right there. Right in the middle of that A on the NACA logo. It's going to be 14-13, the lead for Ray County. Set across, and that's going to fall in. We're tied at 14. That was built with the defender team captain with a good reverse return over the back return. The middle that's just put across now. Defenders will play it into the middle. That's hit deep and track down to the outside. Left back up close. Good block at the front of the net by Caitlin Brown. I'm not sure if she got a piece of it or it was just in the net, but she was definitely in position to block it. 15-14, Ray County. Return back to the net, and that is in on the far side. And another nice play from Brown. Sixteen fourteen. Sort of play back to the middle. That was actually a really nice hit from Haggard. Warriors to set it up again. You know, at the floor, that put back deep. Good one-arm save by Tilt. That's tipped up front off the block. And still alive here. That's a long point. Set back up near the net. And mm. into wow. the net again. I'm going to roll that back and Haggard. take another look. And tell me what you think. Yeah. yeah. Haggard uh, was, again, all the way into the net. 17-14. And that tipped across and down. We have a lift on the Warriors. So 17-15. Good one-arm dig there. 
by Hostetler. Or Rachel. Or part, part of. And that blocked up front. Ashton Hager with the block. Check this out. Mm. Denied. That's good Big stuff. time block by Hager. Telling you, man, these two teams are really evenly matched. This is a great matchup, and you know we could be looking at what potentially could be the very likely one of these teams could go on to go home with the banner, and that's going to that's, that's gonna, a possibility. It's going to garner a timeout. All tied at 17. We'll take a break. Back with more of set two in a moment. You're watching the NACA. So Megan Gossman to serve here. Tipped across up front. And into the net again is Haggard. Just got it. See right here. Yep. Yep. Our right hand touched the net. Those are tough calls. I'll tell you that tough. official on the far side, man. She's on top of it. Eighteen seventeen, the lead here for Ray County. Set two, the Ray County Lady Warriors took set one, trying to advance here in Division Four. Haas Stutler with the hit and then a little battle at the net, uh, kind of bumped over, and that is in along the far side. So we're back tied at eighteen. Serve here that would have been out, but Hostetler wasn't going to take the chance. And that, that also would have been out. And going after it and kind of throwing an arm out there was Ashton Dodd, and it's 1918. Serve here into the net, and we're tied at 19. Here played back to the middle of the floor and pumped across by Tottman. That's Hostetler. And then hit into the net by Tottman on the near side. 2019 is the lead for Ray County. Served by Brown. Now put back across. Hostetler on that back line. And a good hit on the near side by Tottman. We're tied at 20. Back in for the defenders is Hannah Gamble. They get set to serve. This has not been the quickest game in the world, but it has been entertaining. We've got a good 
Good crowd forming here in the and NACA it looks gym. Like the Warriors were in the net, and they were. We're going to run that back. Foul Sneed, if you look right here, see that right hand Boy, just touches close. top of the net. Very. And it fell in on Ray County's side anyway. 21-20, that served into the net. So we're back tied at 21. We might see extra time again here. Very possible. Beatty Daly back in for Christian Academy. Serve by Sneed. Good serve. Track down, now bumped over. Now Stetler will just push it across. Now Hostetler sets it back up front. That's just angled over. Mm. Wow, they are okay. They are. I boy. Really? Wow. I don't know. I guess, but that's real. I don't know. I didn't see a whole lot there, but no, I didn't either. It's just. 22-21, the lead for the defenders. Wow. And what was that? I'm going to take another look at that myself. Yeah, the left hand. She made contact with the left hand and used the right to kind of push it oh, okay. over. Okay, I got you. So, I was thinking, surely she wasn't in the net. No, it was she kind of steadied it with the left and pushed it through with the right, I there. think is what he's saying. I mean, that's close again, but that's... I mean, they are in... Tied at 22. I mean, these are definitely they're tight calls, no doubt. It's not in the middle. Wow! That's yeah, the best hit of the day right there from Juliana Dilk. I mean, that's... Yeah, she got some... She put the spicy mustard on that one. 23-22 defenders. That serve out of bounds. Back tied at 23. And Ashton Dodd will serve. I'm telling you, this has been like a two-point match the entire time. I mean, there's, there's been almost no separation between these two teams. As Dodd serve played now up front and tipped over. In the middle, that's just sent across. And they're going to call. Call in the net. Yeah, oh, for reaching over. Now, now, remember the call that we talked about yesterday? If you, see, The reason that's called there is because the player from the defenders has equal right to that ball. It's on her side of the net. So if you reach over the net and contact it while she's trying to go for it, then that's an illegal hit. Boy, that was a set point with team captain Dilk yep, at the serve. Now we're back tied at 24, and we're going to go to overtime again no matter what here. Boy, that was a last-minute move out of the way. This return deep. Wow, what a play by Dilk to track that down. Blocked up front. I'm telling you, man, this has been. <laughs> There's another good kill up front by Caitlin Brown. This is about a competitive volleyball that is, uh, I've seen here. Yeah, this week, this is the this is absolutely. Absolutely the best game yet. So a little underhand serve. It is set point and match point, and that will oh, not he's, do oh, it. Oh, hold on. That will not do it. We're going to run it. that back. And Boy, I don't. Can you run that back I one more time? I don't know. I. You got me. I didn't see anything there, but at any case, all tied up at 25. Doesn't matter if we see anything or not. It's what the official sees. That should be an illegal hit. And is. And that is a legit illegal hit there. That was almost a lift more than it was two hits. 26-25. And we have set point now to the defenders. All right, we'll take a break. Come back with more from set two here in just a moment.
Set point once again for the defenders. They lead 26-25. Track down. Hostetler will put it across. Set to the outside. Just tipped over. Track down. Now again, Christian Academy to play it. A sent over, and that's going to fall in, and we're going to go to a third set. 27-25, good win for the defenders. Take a break, come back with set three here in just a moment. You're watching the NACA. Can one choice? Back for the third and deciding set of this match. And an ace gives Ray County a 1-0 lead. Now remember, in tournament play, we only go to 15. It's not a 25-point set. So a fast start is imperative if you want to win the third set. And there's a 2-0 lead for Ray County. And anymore, it seems like a 2-0 lead is monstrous in this matchup. Just keeps going back and forth. 
I mean, Dodd's going to continue the serve, see if she can keep the streak. Rowan for the Warriors. Coming across now. Play to the middle, and another kill this time around for Caitlin Brown, and it's a 3 nothing lead. And the defenders, yeah, whatever's nice. going on there, they've got to figure it out, and they need to do it in a hurry. Yeah, that was a really good-looking kill by Brown. It's played back in the middle, and miscommunication again, and now it's 4 nothing as Haggard and Dilk run into each other and a timeout to Christian Academy. Here in set three, we'll take a break, come back with more in a moment. You're watching the NACA. So out of the timeout, serve here by Ashton Dodd is sent back over. Just put across now to the defenders. Boy, that was a little bit of an offset here on the near side, and it's now a 5 nothing lead for Ray County. Time to serve again. Back to the middle, and that block cut front by Caitlin Brown. And up to a 6 nothing lead. Again, down to serve here. In the middle, that was partially deflected and then falls in on the side of the Warriors. And that will make it 6-1. Back in for the defenders is Morgan Miller. She will get set to serve. That hit out of bounds. So make it 6-2. Miller's serve is into the net. Now a 7-2 lead for Ray County. By the way, up next, we will go to Division II quarterfinals. That'll be next. I believe that game's scheduled for 12.30. The Warriors will play it to the middle. Hostetler hits that. Track back over. And that'll be a point for the defenders, making it 7 3. Not sure what Ray County was upset about there because that looked pretty straightforward. But set back in the middle, that's tipped across. Good save by Miller. And set back over. Now Stetler along that back line. That hit into the net by Haggard. Make it 8 3. Back in for Ray County is Marion Corbin. And this serve by Hostetler returned on one hit. Set to the back row. Just put it across. That hit into the net as well by Dilt. We'll make it a 9-3 Ray County lead. A 
Stetler's serve. Played back out front, pushed across. And then sent over. And an illegal set on the Lady Warriors. They'll make it 9 4. Back in the middle, that's tipped over. Ray County trying to keep it alive here, just set across. That's a carry and a half right there. <laughs> Goes out of bounds anyway. And it's now 9-5. Well, timeout to Ray County, and here we go again. 9-6, the lead for the Warriors. Take a break. Come back with more in a moment. You're watching the NACA.
All tied up at 10 here in the middle of set number three. The middle it goes, just tipped over. And say back to the middle. Hostetler sets it over. And that put across. Set in the middle. Good hit up front by Don. Now Hostetler. And that is two hits. Again, whenever you start with one hand and push it through with the other, and that is going to be called every time. So 11-10, the lead now for Ray County. The serve here for Bell Sneed. Track down to the far side. That's a really nice play, by the way, by Daly. Back in the middle and sent over. And that will fall in. Tied at 11. For me, that's close to a lift there, too. Whenever you get a smacking sound on a set across, it's usually not a good thing, but this will be served out of bounds. 12-11, the lead for Wright County. Back in for the Warriors is Clara Sneed. She will also get ready to serve. Play now back out front, put across by Doak. That is in along the back line, and it's tied at 12. Doak is just, she's just one of those clutch players. So serve here by Brooke Porter, sent to the middle. Tipped across and back down, and now the defenders lead it 13-12. Keep in mind, this was a 9-3 Ray County lead at one point. Yeah, it's gut check time for the Warriors. Serve here, played up front. That's tipped across. And now hit back over. Warriors taking some time, and finally scurried around to get there. And that tipped across in and in. So now a 13-13 time. Wow, that was just a, a twisting swat by, by Dodd, and now she's going to take the serve. She started the rally to start the game. Serving. And that deflected. And now hit out of bounds. Which generally means it's a good rotation in the lineup for the Warriors. You yeah. see the excitement? Well, this is match point here for the Warriors. They've been there before. And this played back in the near side. Now set across and back deep. And that's going to go out of bounds. And we're tied at 14. Got a feeling that this is one of they like the song that never ends, the match that never ends. That's been going on a while. Two very even teams set for the middle. Let's put across and defenders will track it down. And the Warriors set it to the middle. Put over there by Brown. It's almost like they're scared of the net now. So many calls. Yeah, everyone's backed off a little bit. And that is in along that back line off the hit by Haggard. And now it's match point for the defenders. Boy, what a win this would be for Christian Academy of Madison. That hit stays in bounds on the far side off the serve. And that goes into the net. And Christian Academy of Madison, the defenders, win the third set 16-14 after trailing 9-3 at one point. So the defenders will move on, and so will we.
Our next match of the day is at 12.30, and that will be between West Florida and Hearts, I believe. So we'll take a little bit of a break. We'll come back with the next match here in just a little bit. You've been watching the NACA National Championship Tournament. 